Okay, guys, Acomodo Crypto here with another Bitcoin update. So today I'm going to present you guys a different count. Not so different, but this might have a, a, a crucial implication to the price action that we are going to see in the future. Okay. <clears throat> Pardon me. So we have our tri triple combo. Okay. Um... Uh, our triple combo is here okay it's usually really flat in nature like we can see here right oh my goodness I am a, an amazing draw okay let me just keep with the with the analysis shouldn't I so this is our triple combo of course we have this when we see it's a when we see a triple combo applied to a, a, a real chart, we see that the W or the first ABC really sharp. Okay, then we have the first X that ha that should have been higher, that should have established a, a, at least a 50% ratio, but uh, we, we couldn't. That was the weakness of the market. So then we, we started uh, displaying this kind of sideways movement in uh, the, the beginning of the year march right this was our first a b c clear y a clear y here then this x was perfect see that the td sequential here always establish the resistance guys always establish the resistance where we have the the 50 percent okay surprise surprise when we draw from the pivot high to the pivot low here we have the here we 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 we, we couldn't we, we, we couldn't manage to catch the 50 percent this x but the <clears throat> but the other ones this first one here we managed and then we have the td sequential showing us oopsie sorry guys here is the pivot high pivot low above it see and uh, the next one There we go. The pivot, the pivot, the this equation showing us where exactly it stopped, and then we are above the fifty percent. Remember, guys, I, I have shown you guys a, a chart only, uh, only uh, <clears throat> talking about this relationship of Fibonacci and this movement of Bitcoin. So what we are doing now, it's a perfect triangle, okay? And I, what I'm proposing now. Is that we we have a W X Y within the Z wave? <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, we will have within this last Z here. We can have a triangle, but we can have also a W X Y with a triangle inside of it. So this is what I'm proposing. This is a W, a sharp W, much like almost like this one. So we are having a fractal. A similar structure that we had since the beginning of this correction we are having inside of this last movement here if we take a look at this okay guys just imagine just take a look at this wave here and compare with this wave here so this is a, a, a really similar wave but it, of course in a smaller degree so this is a fractal not fractal fractal like structure so it's a self similar structure within this w x y x z we have a w x y and we would have a triangle inside of this b wave to finish y here <coughs> i'm sorry to finish b and then we would have a c to establish a new low here okay we wouldn't go as low as i have predicted here though we would perhaps not even put uh, a new low. Uh, le let's just take this uh, projection here. Okay, and instead of doing this, we would see this projection here, uh, A through B. This is not, uh, uh, if we get to this B, if we get to the 7K, okay, let me just, it, it, this is hypothetically 
I'm sorry, this is hypothetical, guys. No way of confirming it, no way of knowing it beforehand, okay? This is where we would land, okay? We would have a new, we would have a double bottom with 100%, and the sweet spot for a C wave here would be 5,500, okay? So, so then we would move it, like here, and here. If this is if this is gonna happen and this is if and only if okay what we have here is this pattern that I am drawing it here this might be a really strong possibility uh, and moreover we would have uh, if we draw some uh, some Fibonacci's here we would have some algo targets 23 minus 33 60 percent from the x to this a wave we are gonna have a nice confluence guys see i'm gonna show you guys from this top let, let, let me zoom this thing right it's so it's impossible to see i, I understand that let me zoom this thing okay so from the top of this x wave okay i've drawn the the top of this x wave to this bottom here which i called the y what is it here it's a little bit down yes here and now another Fibonacci from the top of this X to this a wave here surprise surprise we have some confluences here we will have the minus 33 60 percent minus 38 20 percent and here we will have this box here it's an amazing box minus 618 minus 23 60 percent here would have a a nice zone of confluence that I would uh, label in green because we would buy here not sell we would buy it here okay this would be a really um, strong support okay and which is a nice thing which is a nice count if we think about it and if we are not so bearish okay i'm trying to propose something that's not as bearish as i have been presenting you guys this would be a nice solution for this chart right we would be we would finish this correction um i don't know between uh of course at the end of the year but we wouldn't finish it so bearish we wouldn't touch the 786 if and only if of course we managed to get to the 7k which i have been calling right we are we don't i don't um we are trying of i turned on the i turned on my emas and stuff i think now it's a lot of uh, let's just to show you guys how squeezed it is and now we are trying we are the 21 ema is acting as a support but a 55 ema is acting as a resistance and let me turn this off because it's a lot of my goodness and this triangle is perfect right this triangle is really clear i'm not using the 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 the, the wicks okay i'm just using the bottle of the the bodies of the candles okay and it's about this this uh in this triangle it's about to to end perhaps this weekend we are gonna see a movement upwards um i have another chart here this is the weekly chart a lot of indecision you see the weekly chart is <laughs> indecision indecision a hammer here when we try to go above indecision last week we had a hammer but i don't know if i can call this a hammer we need to see what's happening here okay and here we have this chart here in this is a six hour chart it's the same chart okay here we have the a then we have this a b c d e to go up let's let me zoom this thing up. the same thing okay this w x y within this wave z here same targets guys same targets okay minus 326 percent minus 38 20 percent here we have all the targets all the targets that might be possible to go down oopsie not this one here okay all those targets here 
are possible, okay, if you think about it. But it's possible, but is, is it likely? I don't know if the market is gonna push, push it down. It's, it's gonna push further down. Or if this is the end, I, th I think it's starting to show this kind of pattern. We see that, oh my goodness, it's difficult to, to really uh, comprehend this movement here, okay? This is what I think we have here. We have an A. Inside of this A here, we have an A. This is our A. We have a B, a flat B, and it would have a C. Okay, so inside of this ABC, we have another ABC with a triangle inside of it. I'm sorry, guys, if it sounds complex, too much complexity, but this is the nature of Elliott Wave. Uh, uh, waves within waves and this is a clear pattern a b c here finishing this a a flat b with a triangle uh this is a clear as clear as clear a triangle as it can get so we would finish here at the e we might have a throw off touching this 50 percent that would be 65 per, uh, 6500 this would be our buy zone if you are willing to be a buyer in this kind of situation uh, this would be our buy zone 50 65 we might have a lower price here it's not a problem okay perhaps 6550 and then it would go up and would need to challenge this 50 percent and establish at least six uh, 72 7k at least okay 7k would be a nice uh, price range for our B wave here. That would be roughly, let's see the Fibonacci retracement here from this A wave here. 50% would be here, guys. Okay, so we would have uh, to get a bit higher than 50%, right? Which is not bad, which is not, uh, this would be 7, 8, 6 yes okay i want to have indeed a, a long uh this would be our confluence here 50 percent 786 here this would be the price that i would expect for this b wave here okay and then we would have a c wave this is a perfect flat perfect flat for our a b c within this y wave and we would finish this Z here, okay? This Z here, that is the same one that we that I am proposing here, A, B, C, okay? This is a fairly bullish count because it would imply that we would finish the this bearish market sooner than, I don't know, next year. And I like it because it, it explains this structure here quite uh, as it is um, a fractal, uh, a similar, a self-similar structure to what we have seen in the in the overall picture of Bitcoin, this is uh, this makes me think that okay, the market might be repeating itself, or I might be totally wrong. But this is what I'm doing. This is what we are doing here, trying to figure out what is happening. Okay, and this triangle within this B wave here is really awesome. I think Meta Vinci in our in our group has proposed this A B C D E here, and then we would have this C here trying to establish a new high, a new local high, and then we would we would dump, we would go down. Okay, um, this is uh, my old. This is my, this is another count that I have. This is, if you remember my chart, um, this, is, uh, this is the chart that I have been proposing to you guys and why I don't like it, why I don't think it's gonna happen, this kind of structure, because this D here failed. It, it, it has failed to get there. If we get here at the D and establish a 6700, Okay, this count here is still in, is still on the table, but I'm starting to lose faith in this one and two here. 
I am more inclined to discount here because this is this ABC it has more of a correct this structure here that we have has a more of a corrective nature instead of a motive nature so that's why I, I, I had to change my count instead of a one two three four five six no, not six sorry <laughs> but instead of a one two three four five we'll have a, a, a one two three for this y okay instead of a, have an a b and going down for a five structure motive impulse we would have an ABC flat to finish this Y and to finish this Z. Okay, this is another proposal, guys. This is another count, another structure for us to think about. And that's it. Okay, if it's correct, I don't know. I need to change this structure here. I'm going to propose something different here. But this is what we are thinking about. This is this is what I'm. This is what we are doing here. Uh, that's it. I think that's all. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like my content, give my thumb, uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget to join us in our Discord group, Crypto Trader Educational Institute, and follow me on social media. In, uh, follow me on Twitter. Um, and that's it. Thanks for all. And it's always a pleasure to have you guys here. Thank you very much. And I see you guys next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.